Hey YouTube, it's your girl Dr. J and I thought I would come back and do another video real quick. And um, what you're going to realize with the videos that I'm doing is that we have really upped our focus on STEAM um, in our home school. And STEAM is just the expanded acronym from STEM. So STEAM stands for Science, Science Technology, Engineering, Art, and Math. So they've basically given art its own kind of place of prominence, which is really good because I always used to include art in STEM activities. So now it's just a much more um, accepted um, educational framework. So I'm glad to see that. But one of the things that I wanted to make sure that I was doing with videos was giving you an opportunity to, to see some resources that maybe you hadn't heard about or, or hadn't seen or were wondering how people implemented them because a lot of the things that that we've started to implement lately are things that were kind of new for me as as well and things that i hadn't heard anybody talk about so what i'm going to be talking about for this video is some books that i got from the museum of science in boston and i just ordered them online from their website uh, engineering is elementary and these books i love i love them for a few reasons the first is that each book is written for that kind of first through third grade um, age range, kind of reading level sort of thing. Probably a little bit higher for reading level, but the story is going to be fine for a child as early as first grade. So I really love that because it's really hard to find engineering specific materials for younger children. Another thing that I really liked was that each book focuses on a different area of engineering. For instance, uh, Leaf Catches the Wind, this is on mechanical engineering. Karu um, Toy Troubles is on transportation engineering. Uh, we got one on green engineering. Loreto is on green engineering. Er uh, biomedical engineering. Package engineering. This one. Oh, oh show that one. I think I showed that one. Oh. Uh, electrical engineering environmental engineering so as you can see each book focuses on a specific area of engineering this again is something that I love because a lot of times when you see education materials for kids that talk about engineering the focus is on you know they kind of talk about you know engineering as if it's just one area or aspect they don't really t get into the nuance of these various niche areas of engineering that kids can really kind of grab a hold to and see another thing that i love about these books is that each child that's focused in the book they're from a different country and a different culture and so the books are extremely diverse and you can also do a little bit of geography and cultural studies when you look at the books for instance um salila she is um from india and emily is from australia and leaf is from denmark um, so, um, it's just, I mean, it's, you know, some of them are from countries that, you know, you've heard of others of them are from countries that you, you may not have heard a lot about. Um, Loreto is from, um, a bordering country, um, Botswana, and it'll give, if it's a, a kind of a new country, it'll give a little bit more information. So Nata is probably a new place. For most children, they probably in, in the United States, they probably never heard of that place. So it gives some background. And Nata is a village of about 5,000 people located close to the northeastern border of Botswana. And so I love that it, it has that kind of cultural aspect with the books as well. And the kids get to see different people, some that look like them, some that don't look like them, some that are similar to them. It lets them you know, open them up to new places and new ideas, you know, because we have Mariana and she's from the Dominican Republic. So I love that aspect of the books. Another thing that I really like about the books is that every book, every child in the book, they're facing a, a real world issue that's that, that they look at it from a child's perspective. So it's a child's real world problem. 
So it's not, they're not trying to save the world. They're not trying to, to fix the world's problem. They're just trying to fix their own problem. And it's a problem that a child could have. So with the electrical engineering story, the little girl, she always forgets to, she's supposed to, um, I think, you know, give water to the chickens or something like that. You know, they have a little backyard farm and she always forgets to do it. And so for the electrical engineering story, she has to, she figures out a way to make an alarm for herself so that she won't forget to water the animals the way that she's supposed to. And for the package engineering story, you know, this kid, he wants to send a gift to a friend that moved away, but he wants to make sure that it gets packaged correctly so the gift doesn't get damaged. So it's these sort of stories that are really good, really interesting from a child's perspective, and it shows how engineering is used in our daily lives to solve real world problems, not theoretical problems on can you build a bridge that will span, you know, thousands of miles or something like that. that kids don't really, they, like they, they can't really relate to that. They can relate to it theoretically, but sometimes you need to just have a story that makes complete and utter total sense to you. So I love that aspect of the books. Another thing that I like about the books is that everyone has an activity for your child to do. Um, like um, Loreto, what he does is he creates a solar oven and it's a green energy um, story. And so one of the things that it has your child do is to work on creating a small solar oven, which is great. And, and every activity can be done by a younger child. Most of the activities are going to be things that you already have in your home that you can use. And if you have to buy something, it's going to be something that you will be able to find easily, whether it's, you know, online via Amazon or even finding them at a, a, a big box store or Radio Shack or, you know, a lot of times you won't even have to go to a technical place. You can probably find most of the stuff at the grocery store. But I really love the aspect that these are real life, real deal sort of issues. Um, there's good, fun, solid activities that completely correlate to the engineering story. Sometimes we have, um, my, my son is uh, going in and out. I'm going to videotape him because he is working on a science project right now that uses um, solar energy. He's working on a desaltation system um, that he's going to be submitting in an um, inventor's uh, contest, uh, kind of working on uh, expanding on the solar oven that he designed last year. So but I love that, you know, sometimes when you have children's books and the information can be solid and then you get to an activity and they're like, okay, color a picture of a butterfly because this book was on the migration of the butterfly. And you go, how is doing an arts and crafts project uh, coloring a butterfly? How, how does that get me closer to understanding the migratory patterns of, of these insects? Whereas with these stories, you know, when you do a green engineering story, the, your activity is to create a real working solar oven, just like the child in this book did. When you, uh, for the mechanical engineering story, what are you, it's about wind. What are you going to do? You're going to design a real working windmill. When you uh, read a story about electrical engineering, what are you going to do? You, for your activity in this book, you are going to design a real working alarm circuit, okay? Um, and so you, your child will get hands-on experience in all these areas, including, you know, biomedical story. Okay, what sort of activity will you be doing? Okay, well, your child is going to be making a brace, a leg brace. And so that i i love that aspect um like i said i got this set of books off of the uh, website for the museum of science this is the museum of science in boston uh the i think for my the set of um 20 25 books something like that um i think i paid you know under 20 dollars per book i know I, I know i paid under 20 dollars per book let me fix that you know it might have been 10 12 dollars per book um but really solid. I can highly recommend 
these books, especially if you're trying to say, how can I introduce real engineering to my younger child? How can I do that? This is, this, I'm telling you, do this. If you're looking for books that are, are diverse and have children from a number of different backgrounds and cultures, check out these books. If you're trying to look and see how you can integrate maybe a little bit of STEAM-based activities while you're doing geography or social studies or something like that, again, great, great choices. I love them. You know, when we look through the books, we can um, we can go on the, um, the world map or use our globe to locate the places where each of these children um, lived and, and, and how things were and, and um, you know, put the stories in, in something that, that's real and attainable and touchable for the kids. So I honestly, I cannot recommend these books enough. Like the highly, highly recommend. If I remember to, I'll go back and I'll post the link in um my comment my um chat box so that you will know exactly where i went to get these books um i don't know if you're in the boston area i'm not sure if you could just buy them at the museum they may even be cheaper i don't know they may actually give them away to you if you go to the museum i don't know i've never been to the um science museum in boston so i'm not sure what the experience will be if you're in the area and you can drive by there for yourself but I would say for y'all who are like me who live nowhere near Boston but you're really looking for some real hardcore true to life engineering books for your kids go for these my husband um, he is um, an engineer and his um, degree area is electrical engineering so the first thing he did was re you know read the electrical engineering story and he said it's solid it's right on it's good information it's accurate information it's real the projects are real that will allow you to have real results a great introduction for your kids so like I said y'all know me about the whole whole entire set so um it, and, and it was worth every single penny I, I would have paid more if they were charging more because um, it, it's just that solid so Hope this helps. Hope this gets to introduce you to something cool and different. Um, this is Dr. J, and I'm out. Bye-bye.